Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how you can use biometric authentication for your app. So, to use biometric authentication, it's quite easy actually. So, I'll just name this uh, Bio Authentication Demo. And you actually have to just use a. Um, it's quite easy, uh, but. All you do is use local authentication context as an LA context and then you can just check if it's successful. So what I'll do for this demo is I'll um uh we'll have a button. Let's just take a button and we'll give this button like we'll call it uh, a print print special number let's make okay so print special number and we can make the special number free so I just link this up with an outlet uh, print number okay now I can get into the actual code so we're gonna create a a um, context checker here. So what I'll do is create a new let called local authentication context, and what this is gonna be is an LA context. I think we may need to import uh, context. We're gonna have to import local authentication. And now we should be at, yeah, we get LA context. So now we need to create a um, fallback title. That's just if you can't, if you do the touch ID or face ID wrong uh, too many times, then it's just going to ask to use our passcode or something. So we can just do that. Dot fallback title is equal to please use passcode. Passcode. Okay. Now we can actually create. Now we just need to create a um, authorization error. Uh, or authorization error is a NS error. This is just in case something goes wrong. So we can just fix this, and that's a optional. And we also need a reason for just um, using authentication, which you can't just randomly ask for someone's touch ID or face ID authentication did I spell that right uh, I don't know required to access the special number okay and now we can actually start trying to see the authentication so we can do local authentication content dot can evaluate and then policy the policy is dot dot device own authentication and we already created an error that's this uh, oh hang on I didn't put a there we go authorization error and now we can create a evaluation policy uh, what's this uh, oh we need a <laughs> there okay now I can create a Evaluation policy. So if we go local authentication context dot evaluate policy policy is the same as above device localized reason. That's our reason we made earlier. And reply uh, success. So if it works, and our evaluate error is this is just the error which we will get if something goes wrong. Now. We can see inside of here, uh, if success, then we know that it worked. We know the authorization worked. And else, uh, we need to have a guard let. Uh, error equals evaluate error. Else, we can return. So that was just an error here. Okay, 
and now we want to be importing in this thing because this is where we know our authorization works so we can create we can just print the magic number print uh, print special number and we'll just let the special number be free okay so now uh, what's this uh, we can just leave that okay now let's run this and I'll run this on a simulator first and afterwards I'll run it on my own phone just to uh, show that it works so if I just okay so let's just print special number and let go just type random stuff so if you just want to authorize on a uh, simulated and you just type anything it'll work and now I'll show you what it looks like on my phone so if I run this on random phone and it's just installing uh, oh uh, oh one sec let me just trust this in my settings I'll just go to general device management and trust okay now I can try again oh actually I think it will work now so let me just run this again okay and if we bring this out you can see that uh, if I click this button then if I'll just this was the reason we asked for earlier touch ID works and it should have printed yeah there we go so that's how you use biometric authentication and if you have any of your iPhone X's then it'll also just ask for face ID. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in a in a future episode. Bye!